Welcome, everybody, to the most punctual committee in the New York City Council, <laughs> except for the chair. Um, I'm Mark Levine, chair of the City Council's Committee on Health, and I am pleased that we are joined by fellow committee members, Councilmember Alika Ampri Samuel, Councilmember Keith Powers, Councilmember Dr. Matthew Eugene, and um, we're also joined by our colleague Idanis Rodriguez and Councilmember Inez Barron. And we are going to be voting today on Resolution 470. I'm going to read my statement after the vote in case any of my colleagues are in a hurry. Um, so I'm going to ask um, our committee clerk, Isaiah Emanuel, to please. Sorry, Billy Martin's going to call the, call, the, call the roll for us. Take it away, Billy. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Health, Resolution 470, Chair Levine. Vote aye. Eugene. I vote aye. Barron. I vote aye and ask to be added to the resolution if I'm not already on it. Thank you. Great. Ampri Samuel. I vote aye. Powers. I vote aye. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, item has been adopted by the committee. That is very exciting. This is such an important resolution which we had a blockbuster hearing on last week. And I want to thank all my colleagues for being part of it, um, and especially Councilmember Powers, who helped chair uh, in hour five or six when, uh, when I had to leave. We had over 75 people speak on this issue. And by my tally, 73 were in favor and two were against, uh, reflecting an overwhelming consensus amongst advocates and experts that we heard from. Um, uh, I'm going to forego reading the link, the statement, and uh, simply point out to you that in the richest economy on earth, uh, it's a moral outrage that we don't provide every one of our people access to health care. And we have a system that is working for people who receive Medicaid and Medicare and working in countries like Canada, a single payer model where government pays the bills and private nonprofits and other providers offer the medical service. And it offers a pathway to universal coverage, which we want here in America. And while we wait for um, hostile forces to clear in Washington, we have a chance to do something really great here in New York. And so our hearing in this resolution is in, in favor of uh, the New York Health Act championed by Assemblymember Gottfried, carried in the Senate by our friend Senator Gustavo Rivera, both of them chair their respective health committees. And with Democrats in control of the Senate, this is a live option. And I'm very excited that um, we have a chance to put ourselves on the record in support of the New York Health Care Act. And with the addition of our colleague, Councilmember Barron, we are now up to no fewer than 31 co-sponsors in the New York City Council, of which I am one, and of course our council speaker, who is actually the prime sponsor of this resolution, is amongst those who are sponsoring it. So um, do we have any other formal uh, items of business? All right. Um, I don't know whether uh, our colleague uh, Idanis, you, you came to, to, to make a, uh, a statement? Yes. Thank you, Chair. Okay. As a co-prime of this bill, uh, for me it is very important to be working with Speaker Johnson and your as a leadership of this committee and my colleague, knowing that universal health care is so critical. And we are at a moment where the city and the state had this great opportunity to send a message that we care for the working class and middle class. Still today, all of us struggle to get the best health care uh, services in our city. And I think that with this resolution, we're sending the message that working with our colleagues at the state of New York, we will be able to get the support. We need to be sure that every single working class and middle class New Yorkers, we have access to health care. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Rodriguez, for being here and for your statement. And thank you to my colleagues. This concludes our hearing.